Hi, my name is Kate Fisher. I'm from a little bit of all over, but most recently Dallas. I'm on Sierra and I'm a junior. The pillar that I most identify with is hope. I think of the three pillars, hope, knowledge, and charity. Hope is the easiest to lose and the hardest to regain at times. And it's also the one that life and cancer especially tries the most. So I identify with the idea that we can take our resources as a group of young, energetic kids and take our bodies and put them on a bike and inspire people along the way. Um, I think uh, Texas 4000 is, is flashy. We, we're bright orange and we sing a lot and we're loud and energetic. And part of that is to solicit donations, but then a big part of that is also hopefully to spread the message to the people that we love that have had cancer or that will have cancer one day that we see you and we love you and if you can do what you're doing, then we most certainly can do what we're doing. I think something that I admire most about Texas 4000 is everyone's ability to be so vulnerable. Uh, that's something that you don't really get uh, amongst this age range. Everyone's kind of putting on a front and you come into Texas 4000 and it's kind of a special social experiment with 80 strangers that you may or may not have met before and you're doing this extraordinary thing with them and on top of it all you're going through mental and physical and emotional struggles that um, you've never encountered before and it may be the hardest thing you've ever done before and on top of that they're asking you tell your story and and open up to these people and I think everyone that I met has done it with such grace and has been able to find a way to relate with every other person on the team and say this is where I'm strong and this is where I'm weak and I think that's a, a life lesson in how to be vulnerable and how to find strength and vulnerability and also how to become strong as a group withstanding everyone's individual vulnerabilities. Why I ride is predominantly because of the family, friends, and extended family that I have had that have experienced cancer. Um, it hasn't ever seemed fair to me, though, that as I've experienced these family friends and these neighbors and my, my friends' mothers experience cancer, that my mom has always been okay, and that my brothers are okay, and that my dad's okay. And it, it always struck me as a flash of luck that that is how, why it was, how it was, and not um, anything that really anyone can control. And so I always had that in the back of my mind, that it's still a, a gamble, it's still luck, whether or not I encounter that later on in my life. And there are things that have gone poorly in my family's life, and we've had the support and the cures and the, and the things that we needed in place to all make it through. And I want that for, for everyone's family and for my family, friends, and for my extended family and for the future of my own family. I think also I've had times where I've lost my way or just needed someone to, to pick me back up again. And I needed someone to be strong when I wasn't. And I think I also think about that now that I'm a, a student with time and passion and energy on my hands. And I, I think I remember those times where I needed someone who had time and passion and energy and, and needed them to do the living for me when that was really hard for me to do myself. So I think I ride to make up for that and to, to be that other person because we all falter sometimes or just need help.